sworn in this country and have shed their blood for us were courageous enough to die for us. We have to be courageous enough to love each other enough to have the conversations that you all have all the time. So keep up the good work. Thank I hope you. that I can contribute to the, Thank you the so country and, and help make Daddy, it a better place for us Daddy, you got one word I got quick. one more before we leave. Bronx BB and Leslie is asking me, Danny, please ask Lenny his thoughts on Palin. She asks everybody who comes here. This is what she does. She said, I would like to know. What are your thoughts? Because... You, from what we gather, you guys are, your party is claiming that she's like the brilliant, she is like the Mensa scholar that just dropped out of nowhere. No, that's well, not, that's, that's not, that's, that's not, not what our party's yeah. saying. And I, and I, what I would like to say with that is respectfully, you know, people call her, they've called her Caribou Barbie and have, I like and, her legs. and have, have, and that pencil have, skirt and those legs. I hate, tell. I hate the fact that they, they have, attack they her. Have, they, they have downplayed the fact that she was a, a former city council Very woman, smart woman, a former mayor, and a former governor. You can't be Caribou Barbie and be those things. That's correct. There's not that many people that are going to vote on somebody's good looks. Sorry. So, But with that said, though, as we sit right now in 2010, she is a Fox News contributor and is not a presidential candidate. She did not finish up her first term as a governor in Alaska. So it's going to be very hard to prove to people how you could stick it in as the long haul as a president if you couldn't stick it in for one term as a governor. I've written in my book as well both why I thought she was inspiring to people, not only as a rags to wrist story, somebody that was a former sports catcher caster that went from a sports caster to being the governor of the state of, of Alaska. Yet at the same time with some of the behavior that she exhibited during the presidential campaign, including the quote unquote going rogue, there were some disappointing things as well. And I've actually spoken to both sides of the of the Sarah Palin coin. Right now I do think that she will continue to be a contributor. I don't think she'll be a serious candidate in twenty twelve. I don't think she's gonna have an opportunity to really jump into the political fray. And I think over time she'll realize that it's not even economically or socially physically viable for her to do it. She can make more money giving speeches and she can still have influence over a, a big enough section of the conservative movement where she never has to become a, p a political candidate again. That's where I think she fits right now. I think that's what she's going to be mm -hmm. and I think that if we're going to as, as a party as a partisan, if we're going to move forward, the focus has to move away from Sarah Palin and has to move towards either a different type of candidate, a newer candidate, or the the redefinition of candidates that have been out there to allow to connect to a bigger portion of America. But if they want to know more about Sarah Palin, they can read it in your book. You can right? read a couple of articles about your, your opinions well. of, of exactly. Miss Palin. Yes, but I think she has great legs. Me? She has great legs. <laughs> She's got more than just legs. that. Yeah, a lot of men like her legs. <laughs> a lot of people from what I hear. And I like Scott Brown. I've heard a lot of people say that as well. Shirt on too. You will never see a Lenny McGallister centerfold. I'm just going to say that right here. <laughs> no, <laughs> Lenny, don't me? disappoint the populace. Oh, yes, yes, don't disappoint the populace. <laughs> That's campaign funds that could be generated right correct. there. That is correct. Campaign funds that I would be the first one to contribute. <laughs> Take it off. Take I it off. Well, we just, we, you know you can write a theme song <laughs> Take it off. for the campaign. I got a dollar. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Shirley Thank Huzar. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank, you Thank you for watching HipHopRepublican.tv. Continue family. Remember, Meg Whitman is running for governor. I want to thank to Stephanie Carter, who won her primaries in Texas. I want to thank all Stephanie. the family members, Tiffany Shorter, Richard Ivory. I want to say a shout out to all the brothers and sisters who continue to support me on every aspect, but mostly to get your views told. If you blog me, email me like we talked today about the Black Tea Party. We have more information. You got to go to the site to learn about it. HipHopRepublican.tv is the independent site. And we are looking for sponsors and donors all the time. So we want to see you put some money on the table, your ideas, and bring it here. Thank you for watching HipHopRepublican.tv. Thank you, Lena McAllister. And family, we'll see you next week. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Okay, you got to dance now. Stand up. Oh, you going to stand up? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Keep it. Keep it. Okay, all right. I'm spanking it. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. You know, he sat down. He's like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble at home. My wife's going to get me. I spanked him last night and today.